This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The Brent Spence Bridge remains closed this morning with weeks of work to be done before drivers can cross it once again. A state of emergency is now in effect in Kenton County, and Kentucky state leaders say they're asking for federal funding for repairs. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says in the best case scenario, repairs will take weeks, if not more than a month. And the Roebling Suspension Bridge also closed this morning to car traffic. You can still head out on foot or on a bike. Covington Police closed the 153 year old bridge Wednesday night to keep semis from using it as the detour. There's an 11 ton weight limit on that bridge, but our crews saw at least one tanker breaking the law in crossing the bridge. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley, along with Hamilton County Commissioner Denise Driehaus and officials with local hospitals are asking for the public's help to flatten the curve. The City Health Collaborative will discuss current hospital capacity, safety measures for the holidays, all during their meeting today at 10 a.m. Organizers say Greater Cincinnati is currently facing the highest number of hospitalizations since the pandemic began. There are also special COVID-19 restrictions at a very familiar and well-loved holiday tradition that starts today at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Holiday Junction, featuring the Duke Energy Holiday Trains, opens for the first time at 10 a.m. This year's display features more than 300 train cars, 60 locomotives, and 1,000 feet of track. The riding train will not run this year, but you will find a holiday scavenger hunt in its place. Santa arrives at the Museum Center on November 27th. So great, though, that that holiday classic is here this year. Today, we're queuing up another normal day, which, let's be honest, we love some normal. Temperatures will end up in the mid-50s for this afternoon under a mostly sunny sky. Tonight, we're down to 30, a little bit on the colder side behind the front. But this weekend, another system is rolling right in. It'll bring in more clouds for Saturday. Sunday morning, rain continuing through about sunrise. It won't last all day, so don't let that rain icon make you uh, worry about anything. Most of the day is going to be dry with getting back to more sunshine in the afternoon.